And now we would also like to take this opportunity to welcome our friends with Just Dirt Productions joining us live on Facebook. I want to thank them for tuning in live. Mr. Tom's going to find his hiding spot on the track. Make sure there's no hanky nor panky during the races. Field is getting the one to go. Heat race number one for the Pure Stock as follows. The B24 of Owen Barnhill beside him. The 21H of Ronnie Harris. Row two is going to be the 17P of Rusty Peacock. The R18 of Billy Walker. The 72C of Carl Cordell and Dallas Litzman. Tail end of the field in the 21. Green flag in the air, and we are off and running. Off and running, heat race number one. Pure stock here at Southern Raceway. Looks like the 17P of Rusty Peacock went high and wide in one as everyone's trying to chase down the Bill Rocket. Owen Barnhill running second, coming off turn number four. It's going to be the 21 of Ronnie Harris. Glad to see Ronnie back out here tonight. Peacock running third, then it's going to be the 21 of Dallas Lisbon, the R18 of Billy Walker, and the 72C of Carl Cordell. Looks like he got that smoking issue taken care of. Two on the board this time by, and Owen Barnhill along with Ronnie Harris pulling away from the field. They're ready to wave it on and keep going. Caution on the track. Trying to, oh, looks like we got a car up in the toward the top of turn through four. The 17 car. Yes, that's right. That is the Rusty Peacock machine. Prove the adage I told you about. You don't know when someone's going to get near the wall on the front stretch. Why your buddy Bill tells you do not get near the fence. Luckily, he woed it up just in time. Doesn't look like a lot of front end damage. Maybe just kiss the wall a little bit. We would like to take this opportunity once again to welcome our friends on Facebook with Just Dirt Productions bringing the broadcast, Buster McDaniel Racing, Southern Raceway. Welcome to you all. By the way, do me a favor. Flood Addy's webpage on Facebook with coins and tell us where you are viewing us from. I would love to see how long it takes for a friend of mine from Australia to say good day. We got two laps on the board. Owen Barnhill is your leader. The 21 of Ronnie Harris running second. Then it's going to be the, looks like that's going to be the tw uh, the eight. The 18 of Rusty Walker, or Billy Walker. I'm sorry, Billy. Then it's going to be the 72 of Car Cordell, Carl Cordell. And Dallas Lisbon in the 21. But everybody needs to get in gear because Owen Barnhill is ready to light that rocket off once again. As they take care of the Rusty Peacock machine. I'm guess I haven't heard, but Rusty is okay, I'm guessing. Might need new, a new pair of underwear after getting that close to the wall. How long did it take me to get my good day from Australia? He's not, oh, come on. Usually I hear from Australia right off the bat. No, 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 no. I'll let you, I'll, I'll, I'll use it later. Later on, Eddie will give me the uh, way to view just dirt, and I will say hello to people. But please keep letting us know where you're tuning in from. We appreciate it. Thank you for joining us live from Southern Raceway in East Milton, Florida. Green flag in the air. Owen Barnhill on the gas. Dallas Lisbon going right with him. As well as the 21H of Ronnie Harris. Then it's going to be the 18, Billy Walker and Carl Cordell. Your top five. Cordell making a move underneath Billy Walker. As we stay green, we're halfway, three down, three to go. 
It was a baseball game, three up, three down. Nobody seems to have anything tonight under the hood for the Roville Rocket in heat race number one. As Owen Barnhill is just running away and waving goodbye. Thank you very much. Owen Barnhill out front, Dallas Lisbon, Ronnie Harris. Then it's going to be Carl Cordell, followed by the 18 of Billy Walker. Heat race number one, white flag in the air. Last lap for Owen Barnhill in the Roville Rocket. Here comes Barnhill last time into three, coming off four. He's hitting the afterburners to the finish line. The Roville Rocket, Owen Barnhill, your winner. Getting ready for heat race number two in the pure stock. Let's see if I can make a quick change on my phone. I keep, I hate keeping having to wake it up and then depend on it to uh, recognize my ugly face. Uh, if you haven't heard, yes, I have a face that is made for radio. Here we go. Heat race number two. Coming to the track in the pure stock division. Heat race number two, the eight of Wyatt Parker. Out front beside him, Landon Harris in the two. Justin Adams, the leader of the Baker Boy group in the one car. Dustin Smiley, hope I said that right, in the 30. Dalton Jernigan and Jeremy Pika. Looks like Jeremy had some problem in four, in the 4J. Out front, it's Wyatt Parker, Landon Harris, then it's gonna be Justin Adams, one, two, and three. But on your score sheet, it's gonna be eight, two. Well, not now make it one. As here comes Justin Adams up to the second spot as he's gonna to try to chase down. Wyatt Parker, two, one on the board. Looks like Landon Harris and Justin Adams are gonna get acquainted as everybody's trying to chase down the bounty hunter. Wyatt Parker in the eight. Adams second, Harris third. Here comes the 30 of Dustin Smiley, followed by the seven of Dalton Jernigan. And then it's gonna be Jeremy Pika, or Pita. I apologize, whoa! Almost had a mishap coming off two as Landon Harris got all kinds of crossed up and sideways right in front of Dalton Jernigan. Jernigan and Harris getting acquainted, saying, how do you do down the front stretch? We got three down, three to go. Going into turn three, now coming out of turn four, your leader, Wyatt Parker, two to go this time by. Justin Adams running second. Third place now is Dustin Smiley. Then it's gonna be Dalton Jernigan. Landon Harris in the two. Looks like he's having some crossover issues. Jeremy Peach getting passed by your leader, Wyatt Parker. Takes the white flag, Justin Adams in second. Pizza coming off of four as Dustin Smiley gets around him. Here comes Dalton Jernigan and Landon Harris. Going back to turn three, your leader, Wyatt Parker. Final time coming off turn four. Heat two winner, Wyatt Parker. By the way, great job by Dustin Smiley for using the front stretch berm to keep out of the water and cross the finish line in their best way. Getting ready for heat race number three. 
It's going to be the 66 of Say Hey Bobby Hayes. The 50 of Jason Jackson. Kendall Kimmons in the 30K. Alex Roby in the 36. Bubba Fletcher in the zero. And the double zero of Ashton Lewis. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a big thank you and a shout out to our friends down on the party deck down there at the far south end of the stands, Thompson Plumbing, Combat Vets. Also a big thank you to the Jeep Clubs from Navarre, Pensacola, Baja Jeeps, and Scallywag Jeeps Crew. Thank you all for being a part and helping out today at Southern Raceway. Heat race number three in the pure stock. There is the 50 machine of Jason Jackson, your pole setter. There's a zero of Bubba Fletcher. Thirty K of Kendall Kimmons. Thirty six of Alex Roby. And the double zero of Ashton Lewis. Bobby Hayes must be having issues in the pits tonight. I'm guessing that's part of the hot mess racing crew team. Green flag in the air. Bubba Fletcher trying to beat Jason Jackson in the run to one. Fletcher gets sideways, makes the pass of Jason Jackson and starting to pull away. Looks like Bubba Fletcher changed the gear in that zero. Here comes Jason Jackson. They go into turn four, now down the front stretch. The complete lap number one, Jason Jackson said, how do you do? Back to Bubba Fletcher going into turn one. Luckily, there are bumpers. Ashton Lewis running third, Alex Roby fourth. Tail into the field, Kendall Kimmons. Out front, it is Bubba Fletcher in the zero. Jason Jackson in the 50. See if he's... Well, he almost gave him a love tap. Got on the binders just a little bit. Here comes Alex Roby peeking underneath Ashton Lewis as we've got two on the board. Coming to halfway this time by Bubba Fletcher, your leader. Then it's going to be Jason Jackson, Alex Roby, Ashton Lewis, Kendall Kimmons in the 30, and there is the 66 of Bobby Hayes. Bubba Fletcher, Jason Jackson, I'm betting they're getting tired of seeing each other. As we come to two to go this time by, Fletcher, your leader by about a car length and a half. Jackson, here comes Alex Roby in the 36. He wants to join the dance. Fletcher looking to come down. Jackson underneath him going into three. Front bumper to front bumper, wheel to wheel, door handle to door handle. Coming off four, Jason Jackson on the inside, Fletcher on the outside as they continue, white flag lap. Fletcher slams the door in one, trying to hold his position. Here comes Jackson side by side down the back stretch. Alex Rowe with a front row seat. Jackson down low, Fletcher up high. Jackson might have got too low. Coming to the stripe, Jason Jackson, your winner. Getting ready for heat race number four in the pure stock. Wow, that was an exciting heat. Here comes the next heat.
Heat race number four, Pure Stock getting ready to come to the track. Joseph Richburg in the 549. Terry Mayher in the 94T make up your front row. Row two is going to be Billy Wild in the 31. Chase Jenkins in the 33. Tail end of the field in row three is going to be Levi Donaldson. Once again, a big shout out and thank you to everyone joining us on Facebook. And those of you here at Southern Raceway, make me some noise so they, our fans on Facebook, can hear you here at the track. Come on, give them a big round of applause for tuning in and the fact that you wish they were here. Could you envision, envision the crowd? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask one time or they're going to send the cops. Move away from the fence. Move away from the fence. This is your warning. If the cop gets you, it's not my fault. I apologize, folks. I didn't even know that Bobby had trouble down in turn one. I was watching the battle up front. My apologies to Bobby and his fans. The 549, Joe Richburg's gonna be your pole setter. Beside him, the 94T of Terry Mayher. Row two, the 31, that beautiful Camaro of Billy Wild. Beside him, the 33 of Chase Jenkins. Levi Donaldson tail into the field in the 94. Seeing that beautiful Camaro body on that 31, Makes me think of a Rolls Royce at a demolition derby. Here we go. Six laps. Heat race number four. IMCA, get them ready. IMCA, get them ready. Green flag in the air. And it's going to be Terry Mayher taking advantage of a good start. Leading the run into one, Joseph Richburg. Looks like he had a little trouble in one as the 33 of Chase Jenkins and the 31 of Billy Wild parted the seas for him. Coming to complete lap number one, it's gonna be the 94, Terry Mayher. Joseph Richburg has Levi Donaldson on his back bumper. As Richburg trying to find the grip. Out front, Terry Mayher, Joe Richburg, Levi Donaldson. Billy Wild and Chase Jenkins. Mayher has checked out on the field, but here comes Levi Donaldson. He's gonna put the 5-4-9 in his wake. Here comes Billy Wild in the 31. Joe Richburg having a little trouble with the 5-4-9 tonight. And I think he's getting the effects of it. Out front, it's gonna be Terry Mayher. Two laps to go this time by. Here comes Levi Donaldson, followed by Billy Wild, Joseph Richburg, and then it's gonna be Chase Jenkins in the 33. Nobody can seem to catch Terry Mayher. Levi Donaldson slowing as Billy Wild just zooms right by him, Donaldson. 
makes a hasty exit, stage right. White flag in the air, Terry Mayhair, Billy Wild. Then it's gonna be Joe Richburg and Chase Jenkins. Coming into turn three for the final time, now into turn four. Off of turn four, your leader, winner, Terry Mayhair. Billy Wild, Joe Richburg in the 549. And then it's gonna be the 33 car going to Chase Jenkins. Uh, looks like Levi Donaldson will be credited with a fifth place finish. Looks like they're having just a little issue on the track that needs to be addressed. Bear with us just a moment. While we are having to do a little bit of advanced track repair, if I could get Addie to bring me her phone. Addie. I'm, I'm picking at Addie because she has the phone with the magical information. Whoops, she made a mistake. Well, she corrects her mistake with the phone. Do me a favor on Facebook. Tell us where you are viewing us from live here at Southern Raceway via Just Dirt Productions. We are having a little bit of an issue. Unfortunately, Mother Nature has not been our friend this year, and we are needing to uh, kind of top the track, get rid of a couple of issues in the track. We have her fired up now, Eddie. Let us know where you're at, friends. I said it too early, and while I was announcing the heats, you all said where you're from. Please do me a favor. Hey, by the way, if you've got your phone in the stands, do me a favor. Tell me what section you're in on Facebook at Just Dirt Productions page. We'll shout out to you as well. Let's see here. Sonora Raceway under rain delay at the moment. Okay, Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Home of the MTSU Blue Raiders. Awesome. Conyers, Georgia. Purvis, Mississippi. Let's see here where else we're at. Mississippi, Southport, Florida. Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, Daniel Wilcoxon, thank you for watching. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Ronald, hope I say this last name right, Kyle. Here from Dallas, Texas. Where is the track? Well, if you'll look just off Highway 87, as you're heading south on 87 from I-10, if you'll make a left at the stoplight where the Tom Thumb is located, you can't miss the track. It is on the right-hand side of Nichols Lake Road. Phoenix, Arizona. Runnelstown, Mississippi. Waterloo, Illinois. Hey, great to hear from the people from the Illini State, Dothan, Alabama, Atoka, Tennessee, hope I said that right, we got some Pensacola, Milton, 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 Bruton, Alabama, Samson, Alabama, Loxley, Sandusky, Ohio, hey, love hearing from Ohio, Saucier, Mississippi, Central City, Nebraska, live bottom of turn four, thank you T for that. Let's see here. Bulls Gap, Tennessee. Biggs, Oregon. Topeka, Kansas. Morton, Mississippi. Hot Springs, Arkansas. Loveland, Colorado. Mobile. Olive Hill, Kentucky. Glad to hear from the Bluegrass State. 
Greensburg, Louisiana, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Bay Manette, Milton. Michelle, in the stands watching. Hey, I'm glad you're in the stands. Hate to hear that you were outside the track. Uh, Team Robo Hutchinson's here. See here, we are left in the grandstand. That must be going to turn four. Uh, everybody wave to Melanie. She's over toward turn four. Des Moines, Iowa. Silver Hill, Alabama. Columbus, Ohio. The Venable family in the Florida Keys. Hey, Mike, you think we could go to the Keys and get some Murder Creek? Mike, I'm sorry, Jeff. I, I'm, I, I messed up. Jeff, you think we could go to the Keys and get some Murder Creek? We need to take it there then. Panama City. Jim Pyle in Kentucky. What part? If you're in Western Kentucky, tell my friends I said hello. Waco, Texas. Pace, Florida. Burlington, Kansas. Detroit. Roseville, Ohio. Blanchard, Oklahoma. Boggy Bayou looking at me. Heather, I don't know where you're looking at me from, but I apologize if you go blind. I promise I got a face made for radio. Let's see here. Op, Alabama. Uh, Matthew Ingram, glad you're at the track. Hey, now this is something I've never seen before. We are now being watched at Disney World. Ladies and gentlemen, just got a message about the parking lot. Unfortunately, parking three deep in row five is not scientifically possible if someone needs to leave the track. So if you parked three deep in row five, thank you. I'm thanking Addie for borrowing her phone. Big shout out to all my friends in Kentucky that are watching. Uh, but anyway, if you're parked three deep in row five, and you put a car in the middle or you think you parked in front of someone and then please move your car there are people that are stuck in the middle that need to get out and because of that you got them blocked in we would appreciate it because we hate the alternative if they have to move your car because number one they're going to move it number two you're going to be the one paying for it to be moved which is not fun. And number three, I don't want you to miss any of the racing. And while we're getting the track ready to go back to racing, now would be a great time to move your car. I promise you. Speaking of things you don't want to miss, fireworks at intermission. We're going to be reminding you that the playground is closing at intermission. And when the playground closes for the fireworks, so just to let everyone know, before we do the fireworks, make sure you get your child from the playground with Miss Patsy, just in case uh, you forget. You might want to do it when we start our last group of heat races in the Stinger Division. Unfortunately, Mother Nature has brought this time out or intermission. By the way, who's betting on the... Uh, Oh, looks like he raised the blade. Uh, he might drop it again once he gets down to turn three. He makes that back stretch any wider. We'll be bigger than wider than Atlanta. Yes, that's my NASCAR shot for the night. I've been to Atlanta. It's scary. Four more degrees of banking in the turns and a narrower front and back stretch. Let's see what do, oh, I know what I need to let you know of. Um, we are doing the midseason championships, as I stated earlier. Also, tonight we want to keep in memory 
a huge part of the track. Former racer, former tech shed leader, also a gentleman that was a friend, and he would give you an honest answer, smile. You might not like to hear the answer, but he was always very nice when he gave it. Mr. Buddy Miller, also a gentleman who has built many a motors that is raced here on the 3 8 mile dirt. Going to get the let the IMCA cars out of the chute. Heat race number one of three. IMCA open wheel modifieds are going to get a peek at the track. Preston Stones, your pole setter in the 22. Jesse Savage behind, beside him in the 55. Josh Strength in the 711. Michael Thorpe. Well, I, here, is that Mike? Nope, that's the wild one. Brandon Harris. Michael Thorpe is expected out in the 26. And Travis Snellgrove, looks like we got another one coming out. I don't know if that's Thorpe or Snellgrove. That's going to be the 94, Travis Snellgrove. Getting ready, we're going to go six laps, IMCA. Open wheel modifieds here at Southern Raceway. Preston Stones, the pole setter, Jesse Savage beside him. Josh Drink, Brandon Harris, and Travis Snellgrove. Green flag in the air. Preston Zones is looking to wave bye-bye in the IMCA open wheel modified heat number one. We're going six laps. Zones gets a little loosey-goosey up into the loose stuff. Here comes the wild one, Brandon Harris, followed by Josh Strength, Jesse Savage, and Travis Snellgrove. Preston Tones coming to complete lap number two with Brandon Harris in close proximity. Josh Strength in the 7-11 going off the track. Looks like Travis Snellgrove He's decided to exit stage right in the 94. Out front, it's going to be the 22 of Preston Stones. The wild winner, Brandon Harris, running third and getting loose at the bottom of turn two. It's going to be Jesse Savage in the 55. We've got caution on the track. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the 55 of Jesse Savage back underway. Jesse Savage trying to catch up with the field. Preston Stones on the point. The wild one, Brandon Harris in second. Then it's going to be the 55 of Jesse Savage. One. Savage is catching up to the cars. Out front, Preston Stones, Brandon Harris. Then it's going to be Jesse Savage in that order. Preston Zones bringing them into turn three, headed to the starter's box. 
green flag in the air. We are off and running. Preston Zones, Brandon Harris, Jesse Savage in that order. We got three on the board, three to go. Zones pulling away from Harris as the wild one tries to keep up in second place. But out front showing the way and clearing a trail, it is Preston Zones. Brandon Harris gets close to the wall. Jesse Savage running third. Zones, big draw. Oh, Harris. I was looking at Zones, but Harris goes high in two. He gets passed by Jesse Savage. He's taking it off the track. Exit stage right. Last lap. Preston Zones showing the way. Jesse Savage. He's getting on the high side of the groove. Coming off turn number four, your leader and winner, Preston Sones. Getting ready for heat race number two, IMCA Open Wheel Modified. It's gonna be the 69 of Justin Scott, your pole setter. The Texas Roadhouse Roadie, the 04 of James Rody. The IMCA version of the Roville Rocket and the B24, Owen Barnhill. The 17 of Anthony Freeman rounds out row two. And tail end of the field, the 53 of Scott Sessions, which I have uh, understood that Scott has a set of head covers that was actually made with Mr. Miller's name on them from back when he got a motor from Mr. Buddy Miller. Thought I saw that on Facebook this week. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think you paid much attention to me about moving your vehicle. This looks like, a, I'm gonna guess it looks like a Dodge. So, sorry, Jeep Cherokee. 183 208, or excuse me, 2QH. 183 2QH. This is a Jeep Cherokee. You need to move your vehicle, or it will get towed. You have a vehicle blocked in. Heat race number two coming up. Justin Scott in the 69. Green flag in the air, Scott on the gas, leading the run into one. James Rohde falling in second. Owen Barnhill problems with the IMCA version of the Roville Rocket as he goes to a stop, bottom of turn one. We're not racing back. Looks like Owen Barnhill's car might be resembling Cheech and Chong. A little bit of up in smoke. Getting everybody ready. We're gonna reline them up, rack them up, fire them out of the cannon one more time. Front row is gonna be Justin Scott and James Rohde. Row two is gonna consist of Scott Sessions and Anthony Freeman. They are now going down to turn one to help Owen Barnhill. And I will be back if you'll give me just a second. Justin Scott on the point. James Rohde beside him. Row number two is going to be Anthony Freeman and Scott Sessions. Justin Scott in charge of the field. Heat race number two. IMCA open wheel modified here at Southern Raceway. What will happen is 
Justin Scott will approach the first cone coming into turn four. He can start this heat just like any heat race. We'll start between the first cone and the second cone. If they do not fire off by the second cone, the flagman can drop the green and the great race is going. Some drivers like to play a little game in the starting box. That's why we have Greg down there in the side-by-side. -side. Justin Scott in the box, green flag in the air. James Rohde going right with him, followed by Scott Sessions. And then it's gonna be Anthony Freeman. Justin Scott goes way high. Here comes James Rohde, Scott Sessions. Justin Scott falls into third. Nope, doesn't look like he falls into third either. Yes, he is. Then it's gonna be Anthony Freeman. We've got one on the board. James Rohde out front. Scott Sessions second, Justin Scott third. Anthony Freeman fourth. And it is James Rohde trying to get all the points he can get. Rohde is in the points chase. Rohde out front, Justin Scott gets around Scott Sessions. Scott Sessions looking to come back, going into turn three, but everybody's chasing the Roadhouse Rohde, James Rohde. Three down, three to go here at Southern Raceway. Heat race number two in the IMCA Open Wheel Modifieds. Rohde starting to pull away. Justin Scott once again goes high. Scott Sessions says thank you very much as he's back up to second with two to go this time by. It's gonna be James Rohde, Scott Sessions, Justin Scott, and here comes Anthony Freeman. I almost messed up and called him Anthony Alfredo, but he is not fast pasta. White flag in the air, Rohde had to save it. Back on the gas, last lap. James Rohde, Scott Sessions, and Justin Scott, one, two, three. Rohde trying to hold the lead going into three. He slides it in there. Scott Sessions trying to see what he can do, but coming off four, James Rohde, your winner. Oh, Scott Sessions. Looks like he turned into a smoker. Smoke him if you got him. Looks like we have debris down there possibly in turn one. They're gonna check out, see what it might be. Not good to see a motor smoke that bad going into one after a heat race. Is that what he said, just water? We've had enough rain to float the ark and he goes, it's just water. I'm telling you. Heat race number three coming to the track. Your pole setter, heat race number three for the IMCA Modify is gonna be the 49 to Kevin Blocker. Your IMCA points leader, Nathan Ingersoll in the 27. Row two is gonna be Jason Lockwood and the 33B of Britt Coe Eisenhunt. Row three, Jonathan Pinkert. Kevin Blocker in the 49 is your pole setter. Inside row one, Nathan Ingersoll, high side row one. Getting ready to go six lap heat race number three, IMCA modified here live at Southern Raceway. 604s get ready for qualifying. Green flag in the air, Kevin Blocker on the gas, but not long out front. Here comes Nathan Ingersoll. He has lit the fuse on the 27, he's ready to pull away. Kevin Blocker to second. Then it's gonna be the 33B of Britt Cole Eisenhunt, followed by the 46 of Jason Lockwood and the seven of Jonathan Pinker. Oh, Kevin Blocker pulls to the side, turn four. 
I am going to guess that was a lap complete. We have a lap in the books. Kevin Blocker brings out the caution, lap one. He has lit the fuse on the 27. He's ready to pull away. Kevin Blocker to second. Then it's going to be the 33B, uh, Britt Cole Eisenhunt, followed by the 46 of Jason Lockwood and the 7 of Jonathan Pinker. Oh, Kevin Blocker. Six oh four crate late models getting lined up in your order for qualifying. You do have to qualify in your order on the lineup. If you qualify out of order, that costs you one of your two laps. Just to give you a friendly reminder. Nathan Ingersoll on the point as we get ready for the Delaware restart. Jason Lockwood. Brent Eisen Hunt and the seven of Jonathan Pinker. Looks like Brent Eisen Hunt rolled up and went going all the way back to fourth. Kevin Blocker getting pushed off the track. We want to take this opportunity to thank our big board sponsors on the back stretch. Food Outlet, Mr. C and the gang, thank you. Boyettes, uh, if you hear the name Boyettes in Florida, I don't need to say any more, but they help take care of issues for you when it comes to number two. Amco Car Care and Transmissions, as well as William and the people at Navarre Auto Repair. Highway 87 down in the friendly village of Navarre. Nathan Ingersoll on the point. Then it's gonna be Jason Lockwood, Jonathan Pinkard, and Britt Cole Eisenhunt. We get ready to resume action. One on the board, five to go. I apologize, I thought we were going. Just heard we have a piece of debris. Let's see, I hear it's a yellow pipe. Let's see what kind of pipe they pick up. I don't think that would be another drive shaft. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> I didn't see the debris, but it looks like they have retrieved it. Lights going out. Nathan Ingersoll on the point. Jason Lockwood, Jonathan Pinkard, row two. Britt Coe Eisenhunt, row three, tail end of the field. One on the board, five to go. Heat race number three in the IMCA open wheel modified. Green in the air and it's Nathan Ingersoll on the gas weighing Sayonara, Arrivederci and Chow going into one. Ingersoll out front, Jason Lockwood second, Brent Cole Eisenhunt running third with Jonathan Pinker bringing in the fourth spot. Two down, four to go. Oh, that's not looking good for Jonathan. Little smoke. Oh, now a lot of smoke. Coming to complete halfway. Nathan Ingersoll is your leader. Then it's going to be Jason Lockwood running third, followed by Britt Cole, or second, Britt Cole Eisenhunt third. And it looks like Jonathan Pinkert brings out the caution 
Bottom of turn four, lap number three. Turn four must have a magnet for the IMCA. Uh-oh. We got berm action everywhere. Okay, I guess we have Ford going to two. And John Deere going to four. Looks like they're getting Jonathan Pinkard moved off the berm. Down bottom of turn four. There's Jason Lockwood, bottom of two. He's going. It's going to be Nathan Ingersoll in the 27. Second place is going to be Jason Lockwood as his spin was not the reason for the caution. And Britko Eisenhut will be running third when we resume action. Three down, three to go from Southern Raceway. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Hey, by the way, if you know somebody celebrating a birthday this weekend, just celebrating a birthday, having a birthday coming up, make sure you put their name on the birthday list at the table behind the ticket booth. Field has been given the orders to double them up. Nathan Ingersoll on the point of the Delaware restart. Jason Lockwood, Britt Coe Eisenhunt side by side on row two. Then it's going to be Jonathan Pinker tail end of the field. 604 Crate Late Models, get ready for qualifying. You are up next, and remember, you must qualify in the correct order. Green flag in the air. Nathan Ingersoll on the gas. Britt Cole Eisenhunt trying to get around Jason Lockwood. He completes a pass going down into turn one. It's going to be Nathan Ingersoll, Britt Cole Eisenhunt, Jason Lockwood, followed by Jonathan Pinker. Ingersoll means business tonight. He's got that 27 dialed in and running on a rail. Britt Cole Eisenhunt, Jason Lockwood, they're dancing back and forth, swapping second and third. But everybody is trying to chase down Nathan Ingersoll. White flag, last lap for Ingersoll. There goes Britt Cole Eisenhunt, Jason Lockwood, third. Jonathan Pinkert in fourth. And still smoking. Might be a tire rub on that car. Coming out of turn four, Nathan Ingersoll, your winner. Second place, Jason Lockwood. Britt Cole Eisenhunt in third, followed by Jonathan Pinker. Now, what we do here at Southern Raceway when it comes to the 604 qualifying, friendly game of beat the clock. Two cars on the track do two laps. Fastest lap counts. If they spin, they will lose a lap. Okay. First pair out is going to be Eli Johnson in second place in the points. The 99 of Tim Anderson.
Thank you. Here we go. First one out, Eli Johnson in the red bullet. And here it comes, Tim Anderson in the double nine. They're gonna go two laps, fastest lap counts. And here we go, coming to the green flag on the clock. It's gonna be Eli Johnson out of Mariana, Florida. Here comes Pensacola's Tim Anderson. He's on the clock as well. Looks like a good line on the bottom going into three, slides up a little bit off four. And Eli Johnson, 17 4 1. 16.08 the time to beat. Tim Anderson showing the way. Here comes Eli Johnson, complete lap two. Sixteen, sixteen, seven. Oh, the lap time for Tim Anderson, lap number two. But the time to beat is going to be Tim Anderson, sixteen point zero eight. Now coming up is the twenty-four, Milton Steven Jernigan, and with him out of Mossy Head, Florida, the six oh four crate late model points leader, Bud Thompson, in the seventy-seven T. There goes Jernigan on his out lap. Here comes Bud Thompson. Jernigan looking good. He takes the green flag, he's on the clock. Here comes Bud Thompson. Thompson, not as strong off four, but he's underway. Clock is running. Here comes Steven Jernigan. Look at the power out of that Milton car. 16.04, new fast time, Milton Steven Jernigan. Bud Thompson, 16.15, puts Thompson third on the board. Jernigan, 15.85 seconds, the time to beat. New fast time for today. 15.85 seconds for Milton's Steven Jernigan. Next, next out of the box is gonna be Navarre's Kurt Horn in the 85 and a car that could contend against Steven Jernigan for the pole. It's gonna be the two of Milton's Bo Slay. Kurt Horn will be the first car out, Bo Slay the second. After that, we will have one more qualifier left. That'll be the 33 of Colton Leindecker out of Holt, Florida. Colton always brings a bad, fast race car, but Bo Slay has a knack for getting the fast lap in qualifying here at the South's Finest Dirt Track. Looks like they're doing a tire check or something up there. No, it's great. And getting ready to roll them out. In the 85, it looks like, yes, it's Kurt Horn. Coming out with him, his dancing partner for two laps is the two of Milton's Bo Slay. Horn coming off turn four. He's going to take the green flag as qualifying is underway for this round. Bo Slay looking good. Sounds like he might have been on the chip a little bit. Seventeen oh nine. the time for Kurt Horn out of Navarre. Here comes Bo Slay. 16.01, Slay's in the ballpark. Sixteen five six for Kurt Horn. Here comes Bo Slay. Can he beat it? 
15.90, five hundredths of a second short for Bo Slate. Now, coming out on the track, the other car that could contend for the pole tonight out of Holt, Florida, it's going to be Colton Leindecker. A bad, fast 604, great late model machine here on the dirt. And he is awful familiar with his way around this 3 8 mile track. Almost like Leindecker has a sort of home field advantage because he's either out front or he's on the hook. He likes to win, but when the car's off, it's way off. Let's see how he does as he starts his two laps now. Line Decker looking strong off turn two. Down the back stretch for the first time. Into three, good line into three. He's powering it off hard off turn four. Sixteen seconds flat for Leindecker. He's got to figure out fifteen tenths of a second. Fifteen nine zero. Five hundredths of a second short. The two drivers I told you to watch out for were knocking on the door, but they couldn't get in to take the top qualifying spot away from Milton Steven Jernigan in the 24. Wow. Awesome action. Gotta love qualifying. Top three cars, five hundredths of a second apart in lap time. 602 Sportsman coming on to the track. Heat race number one is going to be the 0W Johnny Wright Jr., the 99 of Kevin Mitchell, the lineman, Hunter Ward in the 99W, and Jack Rodriguez there in the 39. Kevin Mitchell, he's got his 99 ready. Hunter Ward's got his 99W fresh out of the box. We're getting ready to go six laps with Johnny Wright Jr. on the point. Kevin Mitchell beside him. Green flag in the air. We are off and running the run to one, the slide. It's going to be Kevin Mitchell making the move off of turn number two. Johnny Wright Jr. falling back to second. Then it's going to be Hunter Ward. And look out, Jack Rodriguez checking out the rabbit traps on the back stretch. One down, Kevin Mitchell out front. Mitchell out front, Johnny Wright Jr. second. Then it's gonna be Hunter Ward and Jack Rodriguez. Two on the board, Kevin Mitchell pulling away as he's got his sportsman set up to AT so far. Kevin Mitchell's got that 99 bad fast. Johnny Wright Jr. getting the heat from Hunter Ward in the 99W. As we come to halfway, three down, three to go with the cross sticks. It's Mitchell. Then it's going to be Wright, Ward, and Rodriguez. Kevin Mitchell. Saw a post on Facebook where he was celebrating 10-plus years with the power company. And he's got the power on the track tonight as he is out front almost by a straightaway. Make it a straightaway. Johnny Wright Jr. second. Then it's going to be Hunter Ward and Jack Rodriguez as the white hanky on the stick flies for Kevin Mitchell. Last lap. Mitchell, last time down the back stretch. Johnny Wright Jr. is holding off Hunter Ward. Then it's Jack Rodriguez. Here comes the 99 of Kevin Mitchell. Second place, it's going to be the 0W of Johnny Wright Jr., followed by the 99W of Hunter Ward. And here comes Jack Rodriguez in the 39. Heat race number two, getting ready to get underway. 
Heat race number two is going to have the Autism Warrior, the 717 of Kristen Rask, on the point. Beside her, the 22 of Dylan Hamilton. Row number two is going to be the nine of Osman Jones and the seven of Johnny Wright. I don't know if I miscounted, but it looks like Osman Jones' new car didn't seem to like the setup. Kristen Rass, Dylan Hamilton on the point. Johnny Wright Jr., tail end of the field all by his lonesome in the Maytag position. I'm sorry, Johnny Wright Sr. I got the name right, just the uh, suffix wrong. Here we go. Kristen Rass, 717, your pole setter. She takes it to the starting box. She's on the gas, but here comes D Dylan Hamilton in the 22. Rass gets the run on the outside. Hamilton on the inside in the 22. They're side by side. Go! Oh! Hamilton hit the berm and takes out the front row. Yellow on the track. We did not complete a lap. So we will rack them up and fire them out of the gun again. Dylan Hamilton wanted the front bad. He went down and you could see his car jump. She takes it to the starting box. She's on the gas, but here comes D Dylan Hamilton in the 22. Rass gets the run on the outside. Hamilton on the inside in the 22. They're side by side. Go! Oh! Hamilton hit the berm and takes out the front. Vintage, vintage, get ready. Vintage, get ready. You are up next, followed by the street stock. Then it's going to be stingers before we go to intermission. Remember, at intermission, you will need to get your children from the playground, from Miss Patsy, because the playground will be closed during our fireworks show. By the way, if you're wondering where we're shooting them from, we're shooting them from just beyond the back stretch. Be a beautiful aerial show here in just a moment. Chris. It looks like we now have two to tango. Kristen Rast in the 717 and Johnny Wright. Oh, Hamilton's back. Kristen Rass, Johnny Wright. Green flag. Kristen Rass, Johnny Wright Sr. going down into one. Rass on the outside, right on the inside. Rass pulling away down the back stretch. Wright sliding up into the second spot. Dylan Hamilton shaking the cobwebs loose out of the 22 as we complete lap number one. Wright looking to the inside of Rast. Rast has the preferred line going into one. We are looking to complete lap number two as Kristen Rast is running her line and making everybody else adjust theirs. Rast with a good cut down. Whoa, Kristen Rast might have got a little bit of a boost on that one. Rast out front, Johnny Wright running second, Dylan Hamilton third, Wright. Trying to get around Kristen Rast. Rast taking the high RPM line on the outside. Three down, three to go. Kristen Rast, Johnny Wright, Dylan Hamilton. You could cover the field with a blanket. They're so close. Rast holding on in the 717. Johnny Wright trying to find every way possible to get around the autism warrior, but she's having none of it until lap four. Johnny Wright out front, Kristen Rast running second. She gets loose, here comes Dylan Hamilton. Hamilton backs off, didn't like the position he was in. 
White flag in the air, Johnny Wright. Kristen Rass, Dylan Hamilton. Johnny Wright pulling away from Kristen Rass. Got a little loose in turn two, lost her momentum. And coming off turn number four, your leader and winner, it's gonna be Johnny Wright, Kristen Rast, and Dylan Hamilton. Now coming to the track, it's gonna be our vintage heats. Heat race number one in the vintage. It's going to be Gaston Rogers in the 75. Robin Christensen in the seven. The double zero of the veteran Bill Blum. The 31 of Tommy Gilmore. The 94 of Caden Wright. And the 14 of Derek Benton. Robin Christensen in the seven C. With his new sponsor, Catholic Life Insurance, wants to help you keep things you spent in life. Okay, now let's try this again. Looks like we had a ragged start. Once again, I was going to tell you about Robin Christensen's new sponsor, Catholic Life Insurance out of San Antonio, Texas. Keeping things together, you spent a lifetime putting together. That's Robin and Catholic Life Insurance. Guest on Rogers in the 75, Robin Christensen in the 7th seat, row two, Bill Blum in the double zero, Tommy Gilmore in the 31. The 94 of Caden White and the 14 of Derek Benton. Everybody trying to jockey for what they want as a position. Oh, oh the guys are starting to double it up. Woohoo! They make it look like the sprint car is trying to do four wide. It's a problem. Gaston Rogers in the 75 on the inside of the front row. He starts in the box and he's approaching the box. He's in the box. Green flag, he's on the gas. We are off and running. Robin Christensen slides into second. Bill Blum digging in for third as he slides in front of Tommy Gilmore, but Gilmore not gonna make any room. Then it's gonna be Caden White and Derek Benton. Robin Christensen in second as he's chasing down. Guest on Rogers, one on the board. Tommy Gilmore in the 31, running third. Caden White up to fourth. Bill Blum fifth. And then it's going to be Derek Benton tail into the field. As everybody's chasing the big guy in the 75, Guest on Rogers. Robin Christensen and the Catholic Life Insurance Machine second. Tommy Gilmore third. Oh! Christensen got way loose real quick. Tommy Gilmore and Caden White take advantage of it. Out front, it's Gaston Rogers. Three down, three to go. Tommy Gilmore second. Caden White fourth. Robin Christensen, or excuse me, Caden White third. Christensen fourth. Blum fifth. And then it's going to be Derek Benton. But everybody's chasing Gaston Rogers. Two to go this time by. Everybody seems to have everything running good, running in order. Rogers thought he was getting ready to slow up coming off of two. Might have had to let off to gather it up real quick. Gilmore closing in from second. Caden White third. Robin Christensen fourth. But he had issues negotiating that turn. Bill Blum fifth. And Derek Benton in sixth. But out front. Gaston Rogers, white flag last lap. What's he gonna do coming off four? Your leader and winner, Gaston Rogers. Tommy Gilmore, then it's gonna be Caden White. Robin Christensen, 
with Catholic Life Insurance, followed by Bill Blum, who I thought was getting ready to go over the berm. And Derek Benton. Looks like Derek Benton's gonna get fished out again. Oh, I'm sorry. Bill Blum. He's in that little spot I can't see. There are a few spots when you look at a car, you can't see the colors of the numbers. Number two coming on to the track. The mean green seven of Alec Alfred is your pole setter. Beside him, the four, Kyle Kickler. Robo Hutchinson in the 11th. Heard from the Robo fans on Facebook a while ago. The wild child, Ricky Haugen, who just celebrated a birthday outside row two. The young Dakota Fox in the 724. And Joey Conti in the 23X. Alec Alford on the high side. Josie outside. Kitchler inside. Green flag. We are off and running. Robo Hutchinson in third. Here comes the wild child, Ricky Haugen. He's going to try the high side hustle in the 12 as he closes in on Alford. Kitchler out front, Alec Alford. Robo Hutchinson goes up, and oh, Dakota Fox cannot avoid him. Robo goes way out of bounds. Lap one. Yellow flag, Robo Hutchinson. Hutchinson back under power. Kitchler takes the caution lap two. Alec Alford, Ricky Haugen. Then it's going to be Dakota Fox. And the 23X of Joey Conti. Alec Alford behind Kyle Kitchler in second. The wild child, Ricky Haugen, will be lining up right behind Kyle Kickle. And I will tell you now, that is not the car you want in your rear view mirror. The 12 of Ricky Haugen. Kickler on the point. Field coming to the one to go. Alec Alford. Ricky Haugen, Dakota Fox, Robo Hutchinson, and Joey Conti in the 23X. Kyle Kickler out of Alabama. Very familiar name here. Has that bright red number four on the point. He's on the gas, green flag in the air, and here comes the wild child right with him. Dickler. Then it's going to be Ricky Haugen, Alec Alford. Alford having problems as Hutchinson going right along with Dakota Fox. But it's Kyle Kickler and Ricky Haugen showing the way. And you can tell these two drivers are very familiar with each other. The wild child on the bottom coming off in turn two. Three down, three to go. Just past halfway, Kickler. Gets the line going into three. Haugen falls in line. Then it's going to be Dakota Fox, Robo Hutchinson, Alec Alford, and Joey Connie. Two to go. Ricky Haugen checking out the line, seeing what the four of Kyle Kickler's got to offer. The Wild Child coming to the white flag behind Kyle Kickler. One to go. 
Kickler leads him down into one. Haugen right behind him. Haugen looking to make a move. Is he gonna make the move going into three? Haugen goes high. He's gonna try to diamond it off. Kickler coming off of four. Kyle Kickler, your winner, heat race number two. Robo Hutchinson, Dakota Fox. Alec Alford. And then it's gonna be Joey Conti in the 23X. Heat race number three here in the vintage. Big thank you to our sponsors on the front straightaway. Crystals, Just Dirt Productions, Catholic Insurance, Right Now Renovations, Chevrolet, Miller Motorsports and Blizzard Racing Engines, Southland Clearing and Hauling, Acceptance Insurance, Hoosier Tires, Bills RV Sales and Service, O'Reilly Auto Parts, National Cremation, and Sunoco Racing Fuels. As he race number three takes to the track, it's gonna be the 23B of Chris Brown. Your points leader in the 52, the purple people leader of J.D. Fuquay. Row two, the 19 of William Terrell, and the 53 of Craig Crossley. Row number three, Robert Wolf and Brittany Fife in the 25. Brittany's got those Tootsie's colors, like she's been to Nashville quite a bit. Green flag in the air. Run into one, J.D. Fuquay, Chris Brown. J.D. Fuquay out front. Chris Brown thought about the crossover, changed his mind as he's got Craig Crossley in his rear view mirror as Brittany Fife having some problems in the 25. J.D. Fuquay, Chris Brown. Then it's gonna be Craig Crossley. Looks like the 19 of William Terrell, the 24 of Robert Wolf, and the 25 of Brittany Fife as we come to complete lap number two. William Terrell seems to have his hands full. Robert Wolf's just watching the show. But out front, everybody's trying to chase down J.D. Fuquay. Yes, it is called the Purple People Eater. Why? Because the Purple Dirt Eater doesn't sound as good. Three down, three to go. Heat race number three for the vintage. J.D. Fuquay, the vintage points leader, is off romping and stomping. And he's bringing it two to go this time by. There goes Chris Brown. Then it's gonna be Craig Crossley. Here comes Robert Wolf. Followed by, excuse me, followed by the slow car of William Terrell. And Brittany Fife. Brittany Fife stays high, gives JD plenty of room. White flag in the air, last lap. William Terrell slowing on the back stretch as we're staying green out front. It's the purple people leader driven by J.D. Fuquay. Chris Brown comes home second. Third's gonna be the 53 of Craig Crossley. Fourth place is gonna be the 24 of Robert Wolf. And in the fifth spot, it's going to be the 25 of Brittany Fife. William Terrell comes home in six. Street Stock up next. Street Stock coming to the track. Heat race number one. The seven of Wesley Mabry. Beside him, the points leader, the 27 of Tommy Lowry. Row two, the 594 of Zach Mabry and the 262 of Luke Johnson. And the 22 of Michael Porter 
And there's the 95 of Michael Evans. Wesley Mabry on the point. Zach Mabry in the 594. Behind him, outside Tommy Lowry and Luke Johnson. Green flag in the air. Side by side going down into one. Tommy Lowry gets the jump ahead of Wesley Mabry. Lowry out front. He's your points leader here at the midseason championships. Wesley Mabry running second. Side by side, it's gonna be the 594 of Zach Mabry. And the 262. Here comes the 22 of Michael Porter. Like a rocket off turn two. He moves up to fourth. Lowry, Mabry. 594 of Zach Mabry tail into the field. Two on the board. Tommy Lowry pulling away from Wesley Mabry. Third place. It's going to be the 95 of Michael Evans with the 22 of Michael Porter. Luke Johnson and Zach Mabry in that order. But Tommy Lowry, strong 2021 campaign for the young man. And he is so far out front with two to go. Michael Porter challenging Michael Emmons down there at the bottom. Looks like we're racing back to a caution. Tommy Lowry. Brings it back to complete lap five. That's going to be the 262 of Luke Johnson up at the top between three and four. Tommy Lowry on the point. Wesley Mabry gets to choose inside, outside on the Delaware restart. Michael Porter's going to go to the outside. Michael Evans inside row three. Beside him is going to be Zach Mabry, followed by Luke Johnson getting a push off the top of turns three and four. Looks like Luke Johnson needing a big push from a big tractor. Did I hear Eddie correctly in the background? By the way, Eddie Jernigan doing the uh, video work for Just Dirt Productions, all of a sudden pointed out something that should have been obvious to me. When we mentioned Wesley Mabry, you hear in the background, that's my dad. She's so happy. Tommy Lowry out front. Dad, Wesley Mabry, running second. Michael Porter, third. Then it's going to be Zach Mabry and Luke Johnson. Is Zach any relations back there? Zach Mabry's her uncle. Yay. Okay. Now that we got all those propriety and proper things out of the way, we just covered the family tree. That makes me want to write my book even more. The nuts on my family tree. You can get it at any dentist office for $14.95. Tommy Lowry on the point. Wesley Mabry, Michael Porter. Luke Johnson. having some trouble getting off the track. Once again, a reminder, folks, we are in the street stocks. The Stingers will be the final heats of the preliminary.
series tonight as darkness encloses a track. At intermission, we will do our fireworks show. That will be our intermission. If you have not put someone's name on the birthday list, I will do the birthday list after the fireworks show. Don't forget, once again, don't forget the playground with Miss Patsy will be closing during the fireworks show. So make sure before we go to intermission, you go and get your child and bring them with you so you all can enjoy the fireworks as a family. Just a hint from your old buddy Bill. Tommy Lowry in the 27th. Dear old Pops Mabry in the 7th. Michael Porter. Then it's gonna be Michael Edmonds and Uncle Mabry in the 594. Tommy Lowry setting the pace as we head to the starting box. Green and white together, checkered flag at the end. One lap shootout. Tommy Lowry in the 27. Green flag in the air. Michael Porter, Wesley Mabry getting acquainted. Porter gets around him. Now he's closing in on Lowry. Lowry took the line away. As we're heading into turn number three, Tommy Lowry, Michael Porter. Here comes Michael Evans, Wesley Mabry, and Zach Mabry. Your finishing order. Looks like Uncle uh, Zach had a tire problem. All right, they're taking care of Zach Mabry. Once again, big fireworks show getting ready to take place. We want to thank everyone once again tuning in on Just Dirt Productions. Thanks to Just Dirt Productions, Buster, McDaniel Racing, Southern Raceway, all making it a part. Oh, Eddie's wanting stars. I don't know why she wants stars. She would like stars, so if everyone on Facebook could do Eddie a favor and flood Just Dirt Productions' Facebook page with stars, she would be a very happy camper, and it might help her uncle get his tire fixed as he sets over in turn four. Now let's, is that better out there? I'm sorry, I was told I couldn't be heard. I must have had my headset too low. Oh, there he goes. Looks like it wasn't his tire stuck underneath the car. He hate, Was he trying to win with five tires? You can't take five tires to the tech shed. Heat race number two coming to the track. Second place in points, Wyatt Parker in the eight. Hey, look who's back tonight. It is the Renegade, the Buzzsaw, the 72 of Frank Wilson. 
Row two is going to be Charlie Walker and Lane Heaton. Row three is going to be Chris Hayes. Green flag in the air. Wyatt Parker, Frank Wilson, one and two going into one. Frank Wilson, don't think he's been driving a whole lot, but it doesn't look like he's missed a beat as he's challenging the bounty hunter in turn three. Coming off turn four, it's the buzzsaw. Frank Wilson and Wyatt Parker, dead heat to complete lap one. The buzzsaw gets the drop in turn one to start lap two, and he's pulling away from the young Wyatt Parker in the eight machine. Third place, it's going to be the 12 of Chris Hay, oh, excuse me, 45 of Lane Heat. And the 13 of Charlie Walker, but out front, everybody's chasing Frank Wilson, three down, three to go, Wyatt Parker in second. Then it's going to be Lane Heat and Charlie Walker. Frank Wilson out of Harold, Florida. He is off and running with two to go. Frank Wilson, Wyatt Parker running a strong second. Third place is going to be Lane Heaton. Glad to see him back. Charlie Walker in the fourth spot. But the white flag is now flying for Frank Wilson. You can tell the buzzsaw doesn't take long to get accustomed to the 3 8 mile dirt here in East Milton. And I bet you he's got a big grin under that helmet as he comes off turn four and takes the checkered flag. Frank Wilson, your winner. Coming to the track, heat race number three here at Southern Raceway. It's going to be Chris Walker in the 11. Greg Tuberville in the B11. Dalton Rathel in the 199. John Victor in the two. And Martin Tucker in the 37. Looks like John Victor is going to be in the two. Martin Tucker's gonna be outside row two as we get ready to go six laps. Heat race number three. Green flag in the air. We are off and running. Chris Walker and Greg Tuberville. One and two. Dalton Raffle in the third spot. Oh, we got a caution. Looks like Martin Tucker went around in turn number two. Brings out the caution. We're going to get it restarted. Gathering back up, Martin Tucker back in his position as we're going to do a complete restart. The blue and white 11 of Chris Walker inside Greg Tuberville in the B11, the vitamin machine outside row one. Dalton Rathel in the 199. 
the 37 of Martin Tucker, tail into the field, the two of John RCA Victor. Getting ready to go six laps, great flag in the air. Chris Walker and Greg Tuberville but leading the run to what? Tuberville with the drop this time. Chris Walker running second. Dalton Rathel, 199, running third. Then it's going to be the two of John Victor, Victor and Martin Tucker. One on the board, and everybody's chasing Tuberville. Greg Tuberville looking strong with Chris Walker behind him. Dalton Rathel in third. Rathel looking to make his move inside, coming off turn four. As everybody's chasing Greg Tuberville. Two on the board, four to go. Rathel looking to the inside of Chris Walker. Oh, Tuberville in the Cheech and Chong Mobile. Up in smoke. If you don't understand that one, Snoop Dogg got behind the wheel all of a sudden. No mosquito, oh, now he's got flame. I was wondering when it was gonna to come to a stop. Greg Tuberville, car sponsored by Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart. Snoop Dogg sponsors it. Well, check out all the smoke. He was going for broke. Unfortunately, it broke. Four on the board, two to go. Resetting the field for you as we are waiting for the smoke to clear. It's going to be the 11 of Chris Walker. The 199 of Dalton Rathel. Then it's going to be the two of John Victor and the 37 of Martin Tucker. Big round of applause for Greg Tuberville. Woo. I now can smell it in the tower. That was a good motor blow up there. Only thing better is John Force down in Gainesville when he hits the gas and the body and the motor all fly off. Woo! Billy, excuse me, Chris Walker on the point. Behind him, the 199 of Dalton Raffle, the two of John Victor and Martin Tucker. Tail end of the field. We've got two to go. Heat race number three. Ah. That's not a good start. I think Chris Walker has been to the Kenny Schrader School of Racing. For those of you that don't know, I, I got the pleasure of watching Kenny for a lot of years in the Midwest. Kenny will be driving along, and then all of a sudden, Kenny will start putting the brake on. And about the time you get to his back bumper, he grins because he's gonna tap the brake, you bump him, and then he takes off every time. Chris Walker on the point. We're gonna try to start again. Dalton Rathel in the 199, John Victor in the two, and Martin Tucker in the 37. Chris Walker setting a pace, leading him into the starting box. Here we get ready to go. He's on the gas. Here we are off and running. Four on the board, two to go. Chris Walker, here's Dalton Rathel, John Victor, and Martin Tucker. One, two, three, and four. 
Coming back to the white flag this time by Chris Walker out in front of Dalton Rathel, but Rathel looking to the inside. Walker holds on, white flag flies, but Rathel's making his presence known. Going into two, coming off two. Down the back stretch for the final time. Walker's gonna try to hold it to the bottom. Shut the door on Rathel, which he does. Coming to the line. Chris Walker, your winner. Dalton Rathel, second. John Victor in the two and the 37 of Martin Tucker. Stinger, we've got two heats coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, if you've got a child in the playground, if you've got a child in the playground, go get them now because we're going to have a quick intermission of fireworks. Okay. Okay, Stingers on the track. After the Stingers will be the 604 Crate Late Model Hot Laps. 604 Crate Late Model, your hot laps are after the two Stinger heats. Then we're going to intermission. If you would like to get your child now or wait till the hot laps, we will leave that decision up to you. But the playground closes during the crate late model hot laps. I forgot about that in my notes. Brian, excuse me, Brian Christian and the 15 is gonna be the pole setter for Stinger Heat Race number one. Beside Brian Christian is gonna be the 330 of Alex Perry. Your second place in points is 66 of Tian Gawkowski. Curtis Cotton in the 69. Row three, Josh Barber in the 42. Jacob Mashburn in the 11. Tail into the field, it's gonna be the one of Josh Douglas. Getting ready to go six laps. These are four cylinder machines and when they fire up, you will understand why we call them stingers. Sound, sounds like a bunch of mad bumblebees for six laps. Green flag in the air. It's the 15 of Brian Christian and the 330 of Alex Berry. Alex trying the high side hustle around Christian. They're side by side coming off two. Christian inching ahead going into three. Berry thinks better of it. He's gonna try a crossover move coming out of four. It's gonna be Brian Christian, Alex Berry, and Curtis Cotton. One, two, and three, one on the court. Jacob Mashburn in the fourth spot, Tian Gawkowski in fifth. Then it's gonna be Josh Barber and Josh Douglas. Out front, it is Brian Christian with Alex Berry looking to try to get around him as we head into turn number one for the second time. Brian Christian, Alex Berry, Curtis Cotton, Jacob Mashburn, there's Tian Gawkowski. He's gonna to try to muscle his way around on the bottom. He lets Mashburn know, hey, I'm going. There goes Josh Douglas with Tian. Mashburn falls back to the sixth spot. Out front, it's the 15 of Brian Christian. Alex Berry right behind him. Then it's gonna be Cotton, Gawkowski, and Douglas. Three down, four down, two to go. Ryan Christian, Alex Berry's trying to get around the 15, but first, he's got to catch up to the 15. He's got less than a lap and a half to do it. Ryan Christian, Alex Berry, white flag in the air. Second group of cars gonna be Curtis Cotton, Tian Gawkowski, Josh Douglas. There is Jacob Mashman. Douglas looking to get around Gawkowski, Gawkowski. 
trying to shut the door, but coming off turn number four, it's gonna be your leader and winner, Brian Christian. Heat race number two for the Stingers. 604 crate late models. 604 crate late models. You need to get ready. Heat race number two. Coming to the track. Forty two of Brandon Seidner, your pole sitter. Later Bolton in the 27M. 03, your Stinger points leader, Russell Estain. Sean Barnes in the 44. Kyle Williams in the 23. And Charlie Simmons in the 95. Looks like we got one missing. Brandon Seidner to the outside. He gets to start the race. They're driving it in deep. Brandon Seidner, Russell Estain, one and two. Looks like Brandon Seidner gets the move. Russell Estain falling back to third, right behind Brandon Seidner. It's gonna be the 44 of Sean Barnes. Excuse me, 95, Charlie Simmons. 604, crate late model, line them up. 604, crate late model, you want your hot laps, line up. It's gonna be Brandon Seidner out front, Charlie Simmons second, Russell Estain third. Fourth spot is gonna be the 23 of Kyle Williams. The 44 of Sean Barnes. It looks like Mater Bolton in the 27 tail into the field. As it is, a Brandon Seidner showing the way. Then it's going to be Charlie Simmons, Russell Estain. Behind Russell Estain is going to be Kyle Williams. Tail into the field, Mater Bolton. Charlie Simmons looking to get around Brandon Seidner as we've got two to go. They go down into one. Simmons down low, Seidner up high. Seidner driving away, coming off of two. Simmons trying to hold his position to get the drop, going into three. Simmons on the inside, Seidner outside, coming off four, coming to the stripe. Simmons by half a car. Simmons out front as a white flag fly, flies. Brandon Seidner now trying to make the move to get around him on the high side down the back stretch. Russell Estain has a front row seat. Coming off turn number four to the checkered flag. Oh, Charlie Simmons gets around Brandon Seidner and holds him off. Russell Estain, third. Once again, 604 crate late models. 
It's your hot lap time. Don't forget to get your kids out of the playground. The playground will be closing during fireworks. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you some information about the fireworks show. At the start of the fireworks show, there is going to be a countdown, just like we're going to do a rocket launch. It's going to be actual audio from Cape Canaveral. Now, here's the thing. He's going to go 10, 9, 8, 7. I need you to count very loudly so the fireworks people over on the backstretch can hear you because they are going to be listening for you to keep up with the counter so when they know to launch the first rocket. Okay? Just wanting to let you know that. Six oh four crate late models. If you're wanting hot laps, you better be bet more than moving. You better be lined up. All right, getting everybody lined up. There's your pole setter in the 24, Steven Jernigan. Bo Slay, 500 of a second off. Colton Leindecker, 500 of a second off. They will be lining up second and third. White flag in the air, last lap for the 604 Crate Late Model Hot Laps. Just Dirt Production fans and viewers, we are going to sign off because of the fireworks show. We will come back right after the fireworks and we will get everything ready to go. Please stay with us. We're gonna take about a 10 to 12 minute break on Just Dirt Production for the fireworks show.